let's talk about eight ways you're destroying your personal brand without even knowing it yes all through this week i have been talking about personal branding personal branding personal branding so um let's get into the last one these eight things are ways that you are destroying your personal brand without even knowing it okay the first one is you don't have any clear-cut purpose ask yourself why do you want to build your personal brand it is an essential question to consider as you define your voice and your goals far too many people start trying to build their personal brand with the vague goal of wanting to become an influencer or become popular all too often this results in a messy situation where you try to be all things to all people in order for you to succeed as to succeed with your personal brand you have to take the time to determine what your goals are you have to ask yourself do you want to share knowledge from your own experience so others view you as an expert do you want to demonstrate your work to potential employers or are you trying to increase publicity for your startup understanding the why will ensure you keep your messaging and actions on track that's the first one now the second one is you're, you're routinely engaged in shameless self-promotion. Building a personal brand will obviously require a fair amount of self-promotion, but if you're an endless self-promoter, especially online, you'll have a hard time gaining much of an audience. Too much self-promotion and you'll just be another bland voice lost in the advertising mix. Some experts recommend that you only use 10% of your posts or conversations to self-promote. With the rest of your time, highlight interesting facts or industry news through social social media and blogging while still sharing your perspective and the third one is you blend in with the masses now it is good for you to be super enthusiastic about blockchain technology but there are countless others who are just as ambitious and competent as you so emphasizing your education and past work experience isn't a bad thing it's often necessary to start building credibility but in most industries this isn't going to set you apart. You have to do what will make you stand out and not what will just blend you in. Now, the fourth one is you neglect traditional channels, okay? These days, most influencers are able to recruit a large following through blogging and social media. It can be tempting to think you are following in their footsteps when you do these um, same activities, but old-fashioned face-to-face interactions will provide a lot of value. And if you ignore this, you will miss out on valuable opportunities to build your personal brand so make sure that you go out for networking events and conferences because they are a great way to build new relationships and um the fifth one is you don't separate yourself from your business okay startup um, founders often put so much focus on building their brand influence that they fail to fully distinguish their personal brand you and your company are not the same entity don't mistake building your startup for personal branding if you leave the company behind those branding efforts won't carry over to your next endeavor and the sixth one is you under deliver time and time again far too many companies have fallen into the trap of over promising and under delivering this can easily occur with your personal brand if you are not careful while you may not be promising your followers a new product they still have certain expectations from you as you build your online presence and um the seventh one is you have poor social media habits yes that is the seventh one yes social media is a key part of building your personal brand so you have to make sure that whatever you do when you spend time on the internet you're using it productively and not just wasting time and then the last one is you are inconsistent consistency is essential when building a marketing strategy for a company shouldn't it be just as important when developing your own personal brand okay without consistent messaging and actions you lose a sense of identity worse yet you can easily lose credibility and trust it takes time to build your personal brand so make sure that whatever you do you stay on track and you do not give up